Investigation 4.2 looks at the relationship between force, mass, and acceleration. To do this experiment, you will need a couple pieces of tape, a small piece of aluminum foil, about one meter of string, four pens, and six quarters, and you'll also need a smooth table. All right, this is the stuff you need for investigation 4.2, parts one and two, it uses the same setup. I've built a little sled out of aluminum foil and I've got the string tied to it, a little loop on the end, right? I have on my desk or table, I have marked off half a meter of distance. That's the distance I'm gonna time things through so I've used a meter stick to do that. If you don't have a meter stick, you can measure half a meter using your lit textbook. Half a meter is about twice the length of your lit textbook. So you can use your te lit textbook twice to measure half a meter. And then we need something to pull on this string and pull it down so that the sled moves. And you might choose uh, some pens. I think pens work pretty well. Best if they're all identical. Um, or pencils or something about that size would work. I'm going to use pens because I can then just hook them on that loop on the string. And so I've got three pens there. And then we need some weights to put in the sled and we're going to use quarters for that. I need about five quarters to do this lab. We're going to take these quarters and put them in our sled weight down. So we can change the weight of the sled by adding more quarters to it. Okay. Then we're going to power that sled by pushing our pens off the side of the desk. All right. So now we can time the time it takes it to go half a meter. So that's our setup. And time with our when we use our Chromebook stopwatch. Time, time it takes it to go. Now, in order to be an experiment, though, we have to change one variable, and the variable we're going to change for part one is the number of quarters we put in the slot. On the other hand, in part two, we're going to change the number of pens. We'll leave the number of quarters the same. You will be repeating this experiment five times to help accuracy. You'll average your data together and to analyze it, you'll first convert those times into speeds to look at the various speeds of the object. When you're done with that, you'll look at the instructions on the lab for creating a graph out of your data. You will make a copy of a Google Sheet that's been provided in the instructions to the lab, create the graph in that document. In part one of the lab, you'll start with the slide empty. Then you'll compare that to two quarters, four quarters, and six quarters. In part two of the lab, you'll change the number of pens pulling the sled from one to two, three, and four. Good luck and enjoy the lab.